All right, guys. So this is kind of what's been happening. So Bean and I left Philly, right? And we decided that we were going to go stay in White Plains, New York, because there was a reptile expo there. And we really wanted to go see the reptile expo because we're both interested in getting snakes. And um, so here's the thing. We had to drive through the Bronx in order to get up there and I took a wrong turn and <laughs> so there's like in order to get across New York you have to go over um this bridge called the George Washington Bridge which by the way if you have one extra axle it costs you $35 okay and the bridge has two levels there's an upper level and a lower level and there were signs that said all trucks upper level, passenger cars lower level. And I was like, well, I'm not a truck. So I went <laughs> on the lower level. And as soon as I got to the toll, the lady was like, you can't go through here. <laughs> and like, there were uh, so many other lanes of tolls. I'm in New York City. So many other lanes of tolls trying to get through. Tra traffic was trying to move. And this lady's stopping me saying I can't go she's like, yeah, they don't allow propane to go through the bottom bridge. And I was like, okay, awesome. So, like, what am I supposed to do? So she calls the police so that they could, like, escort me. And I have, like, a really small video of that, I think. I'll try to put that in here. Uh, unfortunately, since I was driving, I could not film the entire experience. But... Why do we need a fucking escort? <laughs> Oh, it was so embarrassing. Like, police escort, sirens, lights, the whole works, like, for me to get across this bridge. It was really embarrassing. But anyway, driving through the Bronx was super stressful, and there's the height restrictions of all the bridges that you get on the expressways afterwards. It was a lot. But we made it to White Plains. We both held a snake. I'll insert a video of that as well, because that was kind of embarrassing. First time holding a snake, really, but... I calmed down a lot after this video. I feel like it's gonna go. Okay, so it's not gonna fall off. Oh, they're masters at not falling. Yeah, you're pretty much there, yeah. My body is frozen, but it's. Oh my goodness. Hold them out. From there we drove nine hours up to Maine and Maine is where we currently are and I just want to give like kind of like um an update. I'm gonna go film everything in Maine in Acadia National Park and Bar Harbor and the lighthouses and all that stuff but I just wanted to give like an update as to what's going on in my brain. The other day I was having like a hard time in my head because and I posted this post on Instagram, okay? I'm going to put it on the screen and you can read it. And I was having a hard time in my head and a bunch of people commented and said some really supportive things which just like completely turned my mood around. But uh, I never really talk too much about this kind of stuff in videos, but I do make Instagram posts about it sometimes. Anyway, because my videos are never, like, daily, you know, because I'm filming, then I'm editing, and then I'm putting that up. But, like, daily I post on my Instagram and show what I'm doing and talk about those things because it's so much more immediate. I don't have to wait for something to upload, you know? So it's easier for me to put out my emotions and my thoughts on social media like that because it uploads immediately and I don't have to wait. But anyway, so I was having a hard time in my brain and was just feeling kind of down on myself and like it's just kind of hard for me to exist sometimes in the world because I feel really detached from my body and I feel really detached from like the way that I look and the way that people perceive me. It doesn't, I feel like the way that I look doesn't match who I am as a person. And that's odd to me. And it's odd to always feel like you're not 
in your body. I don't know. It's a really weird thing. And I, I don't really know how to describe it. But I was having a kind of hard time. And there's a lot of days where I don't like, like, looking at myself or, like, seeing my reflection. Because I don't like being reminded that that's my, like, physical form. So, yeah, I was just going through some weird stuff in my head. But then... We started getting back into nature and we started driving more into Maine again and like out of the silly, the silly, out of the city because we were in Philly for like 10 days. And, you know, getting back into nature is like so refreshing to me. Like the city is fun and it's exciting, but nature is healing. And I'm just, yeah. So now it's our first day, like officially, officially in Maine. We drove through it for nine hours yesterday, but didn't get to do anything. And me and Bean are both in love. And we haven't even, like, been outside of a car yet, you know? We've only seen the highway and gas stations, but it's so gorgeous. So we're about to go explore. I'm really, really excited. And um, basically, this video is going to be short, but I just wanted to say thank you for your immense patience and understanding with me and my growth as a person because I am doing my best and like I am so amped to be able to like share these travels with you and everything but like also to like form genuine connections with you guys and like you guys pick me up when I'm like genuinely down and I just want to remain as transparent with you as possible about everything that goes on in my head and in my life and so yeah um I'm going to start putting out more like tips and tricks videos, I think, because vlogging is cool and I love it and I love showing you guys what I'm doing, but also I feel like there are so many people that want to travel on the road and like live this kind of lifestyle, but they don't know how. They don't know how to go about doing it. Like it's fun to watch someone else do it on the internet, you know, but don't like it, don't you want to know how, you know? So I'm going to start doing more like tips and tricks videos like that as well. And then also Bean's leaving in like four weeks, I think, because she's got to go back to school in LA, but it's okay because I think I'm going to be traveling with Joseph. I think he's just going to come with me on the road. And for the record, him being a mechanic and 2017 being the highest selling year of RVs and camper trailers in the history of the United States, maybe he'll be able to make some money on the road as like a mobile RV mechanic, you know, and he'll be able to fix all my stuff. So that's going to be awesome. Um, yeah. So I don't know what that was. That's fine though. <laughs> anyway, B and I are about to go explore. I'm trying to upload a video back there on my computer off of my phone's internet and I'm completely out of data, so it's going real slow. Um, Bean and I have been eating 50 cent cans of soup for like a week. Um, really, really budgeting. Like literally we're splitting 50 cent cans of soup. So it's 25 cents a person. And it's, it's a lot just eating ramen and stuff because neither her or I have ever had lobster and we want to try lobster because we're in Maine and that's what you do here. You eat lobster. So we're going to go do that. Hopefully. God, I hope it's not more than like $30. Her and I might have to split one lobster. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for now. We're going to go explore. All the exploring is going to be another video. I just wanted to like do this little talky thing really fast and um, yeah, and just let you guys know that yes, I was having a hard time. Thank you to the people that reached out um, to me on Instagram, but I am feeling much better now and it comes and goes in waves and I am doing my absolute best, but thank you for being patient and kind and just supportive all around and I love you all the time. Thank you to all my new patrons man and thank you to the people that are still buying the zine because we are on issue number four now baby and it's just exciting yeah so i love you guys bye <laughs>